Hey YouTube, Set Guy here. Today I want to talk to you about the Case Sailor's Rigger Knife. This is model 6246 LRSS. This particular knife is a 1982 knife. Go over the model number real quick. The 6 stands for the jig bone handles. The 2 is the number of blades. The L is for the locking mechanism, which your shackle controls. The R is for the sheep's foot blade. The SS is for stainless steel. It has nickel silver bolsters with a nickel silver shield. It's got two pins here and on the back. Again, as I said, it has the shackle on it. The blade on this is a non-locking sheep's foot blade. And if you look at the back here on this, it's a fairly thick blade. One of the reasons for that, it's a uh, eighth of an inch blade, thickness of blade. It'd be held down on some thick rope and it would be hit on the back with a wooden mallet to cut through the rope just made it easier and gave you a clean cut. As I said it's a non-locking blade. The part that is locking and it's a very stiff spring on this puppy is the marlin spike and this was used to untangle knots out of rope, splice ropes together in line and so on. And whatever your imagination came up with you could use this for small pry bar poking through material so on it's not a real sharp point on it but it does come to a point so and, then, and as you can see it's got really good walk and talk on it give a little bit of history on a sailor's knife. Uh, sailors do come in using the, the marlin spike. Normally a, a mariner's type of knife is going to have a marlin spike on it for splicing ropes, netting, and so on. Have a sheep's foot blade, which if history is correct, the reason for sailor knives have sheep's foot blades is because of Admiral Nelson did not want his men having knives with points on them and would break the tip uh, would have his bosun's mates break the tip of the knife on someone coming on board ship to work as a crew member break the tip off so they couldn't stab each other and they started using sheep's foot blades turn the knife into a sheep's foot. Now this particular model for case was actually made by Camulus from 1979 to 1982. They made the locking version and then they reissued it again in 2000 and two, till 2007. Camulus again made the knife for case until they went out of business. There was an earlier version of this that was made from around 1964 until 1978 that was a non-locking version and it just had a small bale here didn't have the big shackle. That one was made by Case. There was also a non-locking version made before World War II that was made by Case also. Now to go over the specs on this Closed, it's four and a half inches from one end of the bolster to the other. If you add in the shackle, there's another inch. That's five and a half inches. Opened with the knife blade or the marlin spike, it's seven and a half inches. The knife blade is three inches, so is the spike, or marlin spike, I should say. The weight of this knife is five ounces. Now if you have both your marlin spike 
and your knife blade open at the same time that will give you ten and a half inches kind of interesting don't know why you would want to do that but you can anyway as I said it weighs five and a half uh, excuse me five ounces fairly hefty knife and the lock on this is very stiff I have used it in the past some I uh, carried this off and on a few times for me I don't do rope splicing and so on so the shackle didn't come into or not the shackle the uh, marlin spike wasn't very handy for me but it was a interesting to carry and play around with well that about sums up my review of the case sailors riggers knife if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember always be prepared